Hey guys, Donish back again with another tutorial. This time we're going to sublimate arm sleeves and leg sleeves. Leg sleeves, what are those? I'm going to show you just how to make those customized for your clients and why they're cool. You ready? That's the air compressor, but no worries, we're still going. Let's go! three things here. I've got my blank arm sleeve or my blank leg sleeve. I've got my sublimated transfer logo and my heat press. We'll start with the arm sleeve. So the way this is constructed is it's got a, a seam at the bottom stitched all the way through and you can actually sublimate right over the stitching. So what's cool about that is it's gonna look like a cut and sew seamless kind of piece. It's not gonna leave a line uh, our previous version that we had, we call it the version 1 arm sleeves, they did have like a, a space that you couldn't reach the print on, so we re-engineered them to fix those up, and we call this the version 2 sleeve. Alright, I'm going to lay this, the seam down right here, and I've got my transfer, ND, Notre Dame, I'm going to face it like there, straight in the center of the arm sleeve. No pre-press right here, no tape or anything extra, it's ready. So while that's ticking, again 400 degrees, 25 seconds, let's talk about some people who wear arm sleeves. Definitely we know basketball players well wear them to kind of protect their elbows, give that extra comfort to their elbow. You might have seen Allen Iverson wearing them back in the day. front side, a little hot, back still blank, I'm going to go ahead and put the same logo on the back. Don't want to get this backwards, so just double checking here, I'll go ahead and center that. Again, the seam is down at the bottom, and I've got the logo top to bottom here, centered. Okay, continuing, so besides basketball players, I think they're getting popular in baseball and football too, especially for like practice sessions. Then I've also seen construction workers, anyone working out in the sun, wearing them to kind of protect themselves from the sun. So branding those with some company logos, that would be pretty cool. I'll wait till this air compressor finishes. Okay, second side done. Let me go ahead and peel that away. There we go. All right, still a little hot, but as you can see, kept that white background. The sleeve's very stretchy. White background on both sides with the logo right in the center. So, when I put this guy on, got our logo on both sides inside and out so the clients definitely love that I, I like the white background finish because you could spot it from a mile away and right in the center you might want to put a logo on the wrist instead and some writing down here that's a cool look or you know just big writing on both sides like the supreme arm sleeves those killed it here's an example of an arm sleeve that's fully sublimated Again, uh, this is one of our blanks. This was all white to start, but look at the detail in the print. Right over the seam. You don't see any nasty white there. Even at the bottom, if I go wrap around, you don't see a line. Looks basically perfect. If I stretch that out right there, you could see a little bit of white, but really not noticeable at all top side same thing there's no jig there's no insert 
it's just the nature of uh, all over sublimating these comes out really clean and if you want to see me put this one on to demonstrate there it is King 23 even though he's gonna change his number now that he's in the in LA he's probably gonna go number six but this was based off of LeBron King in uh, Cleveland number 23 all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take these off and get going on the leg sleeve. Okay, so I've got my leg sleeve blank here and this is the arm sleeve blank. I wanted to show you the inside just so you get a comparison. The inside of the arm sleeve is uh, doesn't have any extra different kind of material. It's just got the stitching in there and it's the same thing on the top and bottom. Whereas the leg sleeve We've constructed it with uh, this plastic piece here. It's called an anti-slip. What that does is this goes on your thigh and it, it kind of fastens it right there so it doesn't slip off. Because we had tried to make them just like these, but then as you would put them on, they just start slipping too easily. So for the leg, um, this anti-slip piece here helps keep it on. And then the bottom is open construction, kind of like the arm sleeve. All right. Uh, besides that, they're going to print very similarly, and I'm going to show you right now. So what I want to do with my craft paper in order to reuse it, I'm just going to flip it because it has the indent of the, it has like an indent from the previous logo there, if you can see. All right, so flip that guy and reuse that. I'll put this, uh, put this straight down. So what's interesting about the leg sleeve is the positioning of the logo. Because if I'm wearing shorts and socks, I want the client's logo to show up or my logo to show up right where the opening is, above the socks and below the, below the shorts, right? So, okay, there's my transfer. I made it a little bit bigger, but the positioning is gonna go about right here. towards the lower, I want to say centered in the lower half. So where, where the halfway point is, halfway down between that. And you just kind of eyeball center it if you have a white background. Um, and then time and temperature is the same. 400 degrees, 25 seconds. Let it fly. So a couple guys that have been wearing leg sleeves lately, Kevin Durant has been wearing them. Uh, Dwayne Wade wears them a lot, so definitely basketball players are, are that want to look flamboyant like them, and we'll see if it picks up in other sports. You guys tell me in the comments if you think you have other clients that would like the leg sleeves. 25 seconds are up, heel away. Now notice this is our size large leg sleeve and this is a 16 by 20 heat press. So if you wanted to cover the entire sleeve here and do an all over print, you, you can. So you could do an all over print uh, depending on how big your printer is on all the arm sleeves and all the leg sleeves with a 16 by 20 press except for our XL leg sleeve. That one is going to be a little longer, about a 22 inch on that one. But you know if you... Uh, I would just stick to white backgrounds and put logos on them if you wanted to do uh, with a small press. Or like I said, you could cover almost everything except the XL leg sleeve if you wanted to do that all over coverage. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this, get the second logo. Same thing, Notre Dame. This side. spray and glue and tape. I always try to avoid those kinds of things and I always try to teach my staff as well to not use those unless they have to. Uh, the only kind of tape we really have here is double-sided tape and we rarely even use that but so I'm not going to try to sell you on spray and glue and all those kinds of things. We call it eliminating the negative steps. In basketball we were taught like if you're going to the basket go straight to the basket. Don't go around this way and around that way, you know, like you could go straight 
give him one move and go eliminate all the negative steps. You know, when you're shooting that layup, go towards the basket, not acrobatic 360 hook shot. It's getting a little hot back here. I'm in the warehouse doing the tutorial today. All right, there it is. Front, back. Let's go put this on. Um, I got good content. What's up, Cash Money? What's up? What's, up? What's up, bro? What's up, Aaliyah? Cash Money, I just made these leg sleeves. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh. Oh, these are sick. You know what school that yeah, is? Yeah, Notre Dame. Yes, sir. That's dope. Are these just, just random? Well, I'm doing it for a tutorial. Do you oh, think you can model oh. it for me real quick? Where? Can you put that on? Yeah. yeah. Sorry to put you on the spot. Dang, bro. this is sick. Dude, yeah. I want to keep this. There you go. <laughs> put this arm sleeve on, too. Oh, yeah. It's pretty good. There you <laughs> go. See that? So you got the full fit on. That's my like little brother. Played, like flag football or something. My little brother, Ali Kasamali. <laughs> this is my daughter, Aliyah. And the mom. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say hi. She's so playful right now. Aliyah. Hi. Aliyah, tell them all what you want. Hi. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Till next time, <laughs> we are out. Hey guys, so I just have a few tips um, for our sleeves. Um, so basically, in order to get that nice, really all over print, uh, what you're gonna do is on these seams here, you're just gonna pull on it to make sure uh, that seam is nice and flat, just because there is fabric in between there. You're going to do the same on both sides and then when you put it on the press you're going to make sure that seam is facing you so you're going to fold it over pre-press it for a few seconds so after you pre-press it um, you're going to want to put the transfer paper on top of it and press it again uh, once it's done you're going to peel just the edge um, and see uh sorry make sure that that ink got all over the entire arm sleeve um, if it didn't, go ahead and just put the paper back and just press it for a few more seconds. And then you're going to be doing the same thing with the leg sleeves. That's it? That's it. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thank you, Monica, for being Thanks. featured. And let's go make some amazing leg and arm sleeves. <laughs> so. I want to show you guys how you can easily make mock-ups using SilkySocks.com for the leg and arm sleeves. So first thing you're going to do is go to SilkySocks.com, then click on Design Lab, and that'll bring me to this page here. So I want to find the arm sleeve, which is right there. The leg sleeve is right down here. So let's go ahead and click into that. Then we're going to click Design Now. That's loading. It's going to show us a blank arm sleeve here. So you'll go to Add Image. And I'm just going to use a clip art, but here you can do upload your photo or artwork and upload the client's uh, logo. Then with the, let's see, so I'm going to go to Clip Art, American Football. Let's see what we got here. So we've got some pre-existing logos for the different sports. I'll go ahead and grab that one. And I'm gonna bring it in right to here. And I can resize it and adjust it. So if I want it right in the center, like the previous demo that we made, then I'll just put that right there. I can obviously resize it and stretch it, move it around pretty easily. Then what I'm going to do is hit preview. What that does is takes away all those guides and all that. And then I'll hit download right here. Boom. That'll download a JPEG of it. And I'm gonna open that up and boom. There's your custom mock-up. So 
I do recommend kind of cropping it so it's not a big square because this is a big square document so you can crop that by doing uh, command K and there you go rename it save it and send it to your customer easy enough the leg sleeves works very similarly you'll just click on leg sleeves when you're doing it instead and hope you guys make some dope mock-ups and use the resources available and bless your arms legs and feet silky socks baby let's work <laughs>